What is going on guys? I'm the white guy and today we're checking out Moto Farm Facility MX by Gary664. We're playing MX for A2 Reflex, obviously. Uh, this is, it looks like an interesting track. The thumbnail looked enticing and the, the, the description is the amount of time spent on track is on real height map was made in leveler and Photoshop and he spent a lot of time on it and dark slides helped him with the objects as seems to be common here. We're not in fact going to be going that way. We're going to be going this way up the hill. This looked like such an interesting track. It's almost like the Glen Helen Hill, maybe, but not quite. Cause they're, it's sort of like Glen Helen, where you go down the hill, go up, go back down, turn around, go back up. But sort of feels like Glen Helen, and I don't. Maybe that's what he's going for. Something inspired by Glen Helen, but I don't think this is completely. Pretty sure I, I would not say this is the Glen Helen Raceway by any means. But oh man, does this look pretty! It's gonna come down here. I think it. Oh. Oh man, this looks cool. You're gonna, obviously, you're going to want a very high top-end bike on this. You're not going to want any acceleration with this all on top-end just by looking at this. Really deep ruts there. That's awesome. Nice little rut there to help you turn. Suzuki block. We jump, we're jumping over a semi there. That That's cool. That's, that's This is such a cool track. Oh boy, that's a big one. And we're going to... Oh, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to hit that nice big old gorilla there. Push that really wide. That's okay though. Maybe it's not because we just got reset. And yeah, we're gonna be casing this one. I've got to. We're gonna be doubling this triple. Or no, just casing it. All right. Let's go through this line here. This one looks interesting. Oh man. Oh man. I did not expect that. That's. This track is. It's so cool. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe this. It, it's uh, absolutely amazing. I'm mean, uh, hopefully Gary six six four. You okay with me just grabbing the uh, thing off Reflex Central to use the thumbnail for this video? Oh man, there's a nice little off camera there. This track is so freaking cool. It's got like everything, and it. it's so cool. I love this. All right, so here we go. We got a nice little. Is this a rhythm section or rollers or whoops? I I I, I think maybe you can rhythm this or hit it like whoops. I, I don't know. We're gonna hit it like it's whoops though, and pretend we're just not hitting whoops. So I have an excuse. Uh, nice little Yamaha sign there. Oh, that you can either like go just double that, or you can really stretch it out, go for the triple. Let's see what do we got going on here? Just a little flat bank and corner here. Kawasaki sign. Big old double. I think this is gonna be a nice big tabletop. Yes, I don't. There's a little bit of a triple there, I guess, because there's a downside. You just grab right there. Flat corner. Scrub that. There we go. So it's got some rollers there. We're going to be hopping off downhill. Yes, that is a really big one. This, this height map is really cool. I like this a lot. It's like the tracks, like it flows with the terrain of the land around it. It's not like it's just kind of carved, built up on flat. And there's a nice little pond right there on the left. That's cool. I like how this kind of follows the contour of the land it's set in, where the land around it's raised up to fit the track. It's it's, it's neat, like you're jumping up and down hills, the elevation in tracks is obviously, that's always a benefit to me, I always like tracks of elevation changes, I always think that's a really cool thing to have. Nice little triple there. Looking to the left, grab, oh that rut gets deep if you try and rail that, you're not careful, you're going to go down hard. Let's see, you're going to come up there, hop up that. And break over that. The lap times here seem like they're gonna be a little bit on the long side, I'd say. Maybe not. I see myself bashing my head against that bridge up there at least once in this video. Maybe not. I see that might happen though. And there's a sweeper right there. I don't we haven't hit any of these jumps yet. Nice! I love these little step ups like that. These jumps are so well made. You did such an amazing job with this. This is great. Alright, shoot, gotta go step up over there. And this is what I mean, like tracks like this for reflex are just absolutely amazing that people are able to do this. If MX versus ATV Supercross Encore allowed people to make their own tracks like this or they supported it, that game would be infinitely more popular. But since they're kind of shutting that down and stopping you from doing custom tracks apparently, I don't see a ton of people going over to that game when there's... This is the wrong way, we're going left off that. But since the Reflex is an amazing community that's making stuff like this that keeps the game cooler, stuff like this gear and this bike. It just keeps the game interesting, keeps new stuff in there, keeps people's ideas flowing, and since people can do exactly what they want, they're more inclined to play it. Whereas something with Supercross Encore, you're kind of locked down to whatever content they put out every other half year, I don't know what to call that. But whenever, if you're locked down to not being able to actually do anything with the game, not having any fun with it, well, you can still have fun with it, but not having any of this, being able to do this in it. That, that's a major downer of the game. It takes away a lot of fun from the game. You're not able to actually add your own content. And if they did, I feel like the game would be way more popular than it is. Because I, I can never find an online match because nobody plays it on PC. Because there's no real reason to. And there's Reflex. There's so many other better things in it. If they allowed modding, they can take off a lot more. That's the end of that rant, though. 
Let me just go on and talk about this track. This is so amazing. I don't know how we're supposed to hit this section at all, though. Can't, that, that one's going to be tough to figure out. I don't even know what we're supposed to do there. And let's grab that rut. Let's hop around. Could we just throw a just huck a backflip over that? Yes, we can. Alright, let's try to actually make this work this time. Really got to stretch that one out, but that, that's going to be the faster line. Like 99% should just go in for that big jump. going to be faster. And you got to kind of stretch that one out if we go hit that like we did. And then we're going to have issues getting over that double, I bet. And this little off camber we're coming up to here. So let's make sure we let off a little bit for that so we don't go flying off. It's kind of like... I don't know, it seems like this track took inspiration from lots of other tracks and kind of melded them together in one glorious way that works out. He's got like the Glen Helen style hill, the James Stewart compound style off camber. And then, I don't know whether those are just generic rollers, I guess. And I like these, I love these little step ups like this where you can kind of scrub them and try and get really low. They're just so cool. It's. I don't even know what to say. Let me know in the comments what you think about this track. Let me send this guy, uh, go on his Reflex Central page. It's, uh,. Up on Moto Farm Facility MX, give this Gary664 a shout. This track is amazing. It, it just stuns me that people are able to do stuff like this. I don't even want to think about how much time you, it's got to take to make these tracks. They're absolutely amazing. I have so much fun with them. That's why Reflex is... How old is Reflex now? Getting up to like 9, 10 years old maybe? That might be an exaggeration. Somewhere between 5 and 10 years old I think the game is, that, without just pulling it off the top of my head. And there's still an active community around. There's still new people buying the game. There's still people playing it. There are still people making stuff for it after like 10 years because it's an amazing modding community. It's great. If, if, if Nordic wants proof about why modding communities work and why they need to open the game up, look at Reflex. We're still playing this. We're still here. Still a huge community for this game. Could be for Supercross if it wasn't so locked down, bolted tight, no support for mods. Just saying. Just saying. But I remember, like, back in the day when uh, MX vs. ATV Unleashed was a big thing with the PC. There was that track editor with Unleashed that was huge, and people, I think there's still some people that still play Unleashed. I know I occasionally I still go play it. But that game was such a huge popular game for such a long time because there was a track editor with the game, and people were able to do all kinds of crazy stuff. There's, like, a freaking snowmobile mod for the game. It's not just making tracks. People figure out how, like, you can mod your own tricks into the game. You could fit your own bikes in there, your own models. Like, I, there, there literally is a snowmobile on it. I was told there's a Zamboni mod for it floating around somewhere, but there's a snowmobile you can get. It's so... When you open games up to crazy modding, fun stuff happens. That's all i got to say on that topic. And on that note, we're going to split the video off right here in the little cut I've been doing recently because OBS likes to crash and I don't want to lose recording stuff anymore, so I'll see you guys in about two tenths of a second. What's going on? We're back here. Hopefully you didn't notice that little break in the video. Actually, no, you are going to. If you did not notice that break, you might want to go get your eyes checked. But, uh, yeah, the little break in the video right there, which, uh, the, uh, I said tenth of a second, so it takes me like a tenth of a second to just stop and start the recording again. But the, I'm just going to mash the clips in together so that well, you'll just be a hard cut with no real gap between it. Just because, uh, I don't know why, around 9, 10 minute mark, OBS or just likes to crash. And when it crashes while I'm recording, it kind of breaks the file, and then the file's corrupt, and I just lost all the data. So we are starting to just break videos off here and there, so I can, in case it crashes, I only lose like 5 minutes instead of 20 minutes. Yeah, no, not fun. Alright, so if we just pin it through there, we can tire tap over those two, I guess. Still, that's a tough one to figure out. Cut the left in there. This will probably be the last lap of this video, because these laps are so long. Alright, let's take, the, let's take the low line this time, that left line. Unless you lose all your speed like I did right there, that, yeah. That low line is just if you lose all absolutely all of your speed. If you have any momentum coming in, that high line is going to be so much faster. You just have to not lose all your speed. Nice little tabletop right there, we'll flick that on over. Hopefully we can actually clear that double. Maybe you need a little bit more pop off that first bit of the double there. If that's intended to be a double, it seems like you need a little bit more pop to be able to clear that. Grab this inside off camber. There we go. I think that inside is going to be the way to go through there. And hopefully, we can actually launch into this and try. We'll try and rhythm this. We'll double, 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 triple, double. Yes, I guess that you can rhythm through there. You can hit it like whoops. That kind of depends on what you want to do. You can try and huck a backflip over that. Oh boy. Alright, let's cut back in here. There's a nice little bump on the inside for those who want to take the inside. You're going to get to the little bump. And we're going to backflip up that. Oh, wait, that was a stretch one. And a little 360 Lazy Boy 180 over this, which, um, yeah, I don't know why. 360 in this game are kind of halfway broken. Sometimes they just decide they don't want to work at all. Other times they work great. Sometimes they just decide, nope, we're not working for you, we're done. 
So we're gonna step down there, and it's brakes from there. Cut to the left, nice little whoop section right here. And we backflip this. No, backflip glitch game is not on point for that. I wanna get one of the more of those little backflip glitches in somewhere, we'll figure it out. We'll get one in. There we go, there's a little snappy, quick backflip. I, I call it a backflip glitch, I don't know how intentional it is, but there's a little way you can flip the sticks around to be able to flip faster than you normally could. Let's throw a 360 over that, because we can! Hit the inside, launch that, and I believe this is the finish line we're coming up on here, so we'll try and flip the line. Don't know, that's not gonna work out so well, but that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. The channel's been getting crazy. We're playing 24,002, 300 subscribers now. It's pretty crazy how high it's getting. I appreciate all of your support. It means a ton. I've got some pretty cool plans for the future of this channel. Hopefully y'all are gonna like it, and I'll catch you in the next one.